Hello, and welcome back to Chips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can use criteria with Excel filters and functions. In this lesson, I'm going to focus on four words. The words are true, false, and or. When you apply a filter to a data set, for example, if you come up here to the data tab on the ribbon and apply the filter, you're working with criteria. Now, criteria can range from the simple to the more complex. A simple criterion would be yes or no for the pool. So over here, when we click the filter for the field of pool and we want to see only those records where there is a pool, we want to get the answer true to this filter. Yes, there is a pool. So those records that evaluate and say true will show in our filter. Let's remove the single criterion over here. And later on in the lesson, when I show you how to work with advanced filters, we're going to work with multiple criteria. In this case, each of the criterion must be met. In other words, it must answer to true. So when we apply that advanced filter later on, we'll be filtering to show only those houses where the square feet for the property is greater than or equal to 1,000 square feet, where there is no pool, and where the price is less than or equal to $300,000. In this case, each of the criterion must answer true. We can also work with criteria with certain functions in Excel. Did you know that there's an AND function? Did you know that Excel has an OR function? The AND function, the OR function, belong to a group of functions called logical functions. A little later on, I'm going to show you a third logical function, the IF function. Here's the difference. With the AND function, I'm going to double click to look at how this function is built. In this case, we're applying logical test. And in this case, I've applied three criteria. So my first logical test is cell F8. Cell F8 is the price. So I want to look at properties where the price is less than or equal to $300,000. And in addition to meeting that price test, the second logical test is that I want to see properties where there is no pool. So I must get the answer no to the second logical test in addition to getting um, true for the price is less than or equal to 300000 And in addition, I must get the answer true to my third logical test. I want to see only those properties where the square feet for the property are greater than or equal to $300,000 and there is no pool and the price is less than or equal to $300,000. If all of those criteria answer yes or true, then I'll get the answer true. As you can see, I have the answer false because only one of the logical tests answered true. There is no pool. I get false to my first that the property is out of my price range. I get false to the logical test number three, and it's too small. There is not at least a thousand square feet. On the other hand, when we use the OR function, in this case I'm using the same three criteria. If any one of the logical tests responds as true, then I'm going to get the answer true to the OR function. Now, a great use of the AND function, a great use of the OR function, is the nested inside the IF function. Now, before I show you how to nest it, let's come up here and take a look at the IF function. Equals IF, and I'm using Excel 2010 here, so I can use function autocomplete. If I press tab, then it adds in the left parentheses. I like to use the keyboard shortcut control A to open up the function arguments dialog box. So with the if function, the logical test, and in this case I'm going to be nesting that and function inside it. So you can nest functions inside functions. The response that I want if it evaluates as true is I'm going to include inside double quotation marks this text, potential. The value of false, I'm going to include a space bar inside double quotation marks. All right, so now that we have most of the work done with our AND function, what I'll do is I'm working from the inside out. So now it's a simple matter to add if a left parentheses. This is now my logical test, as you can see. 
and I'll come over here after that inside parentheses use a comma my second argument is going to be uh, double quotation mark possible double quotation mark my third argument the value if false double quotation mark spacebar double quotation mark and remember to finish it off with a matching right parentheses so I have nothing in there nothing showing because the answer to my logical test is false as I copy this function down here are the two properties where I have the answer true to each of the uh, logical tests double click in here and here you can see that it passed the logical test for all three of the arguments the price is in my range it's less than or equal to three hundred thousand dollars there is no pool answer is true and my third answer of true is that it has at least a thousand square feet so it's a potential property to look at so use the and function use the or function I like to write them first and then I surround it with the if function and decide what I want to have as my value of true my value if false all right now let's come over here and take a look at how criteria work in Excel for example let's take a look at price I want to see prices within a range so if I use the drop-down filter I can take advantage of number filters so in this case what I might want to do is click over here greater than or equal to and notice in the dialog box that I, again I have and and or so I want to see properties that fall between three hundred thousand and five hundred thousand dollars so I want to say that it's greater than or equal to at least three hundred thousand and I'm going to leave the and in place and I want to see it where it is less than or equal to 500,000 so only properties where both conditions are true will show so there are the properties that fall within that range now within this I could also apply a different criteria I could say I want to see properties where the square feet is at least uh, 1500 so over here again the number filter I can say that it is greater than or equal to 1500 square feet so there you go so this condition was met this condition was met for the filter now there's a great keyboard shortcut that you can use in Excel 2007 Excel 2010 to apply or remove filters control shift L so you see it removed all the filters and removed the filter drop down arrows control shift L will toggle back control shift L will take off those filters all right now I want to show you how to create advanced criteria advanced filter best practice is that I like to make sure that the labels for the data set match the labels that I'm going to use for my criteria a great way to do that is to use a, a, a formula in here so I want to say I want to have it be equal to the label that I have as my header it's important that they match the spelling it doesn't matter with the formatting now in this case what I'm doing this is my criteria here are the labels they match the labels for my data set and I'm saying I want to have three criteria and each of these criteria must be met greater than uh, or equal to a thousand square feet no pool and less than or equal to three hundred thousand dollars so when we write criteria on the same line it's equivalent to using the and function so to begin the advanced criteria have a single cell in the data set selected data tab on the ribbon don't click filter click the advanced filter in this case I want to copy the results of the filter to another location so here's my list range you can see that my list range over here for my criteria range what I'm going to do is I'm going to first delete this and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select it you don't have to select every one of the labels really only the labels and the actual criteria that you have and in this case I want to copy the results to appear down here click OK and there you go so now this is really easy to send on if I were a broker I could easily send this on to my client so here is the result of the advanced filter I'll use control Z to undo that well maybe I can't use control Z to undo it I'll just delete the uh, rows over here 
Now, if I were to put the criteria on two rows, it's the equivalent of using the OR function. So in this case, let's say that I want to see properties where it is having, where the property has at least a thousand square feet, no pool, or the price is less than or equal to 300,000. So once again, let's come over here, click advanced, and I want to clear my criteria over here. This time, when I copy it, I'm only going to copy the labels, but I want to make sure that I have the criteria which are in two rows. So I'm really using the OR criteria. And this time, I'll filter it in place. Click OK, and there you go. So you can see how easy it is to use criteria that is either simple or the advanced criteria. We've also shown you how to use the AND function, the OR function, and the way I like to use the AND and the OR function is create them first and then nest them inside an IF function. So there you've learned the importance of four words, true, false, AND, and OR. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.